Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. My name is Sam, and today we have the QNAP TVS 682T, and this is the Thunderbolt model. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing this one. First up, go ahead and unlock the locking tab on the side here. I'm going to put the over and under covers here. The first thing you'll notice, right at the very top, I have the accessories pack. Pull these out of the way here for just a moment. And remember, when you go to unpack the device, just for safety's sake of the unit, you want to lay it on the side, try to keep it as still as possible, roll the box over very gently, and let the unit itself ease its way to the table. And you can lift up the box, exposing the unit. If you give me just a moment here, we'll go ahead and unpack this one, and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we have this unit unpackaged, first thing that you'll notice is it doesn't look quite like some of the other QNAP devices out there on the market. Well, it's not. These are a little bit different. You'll have SSD drive trays here toward the top. You'll have your HDDs. Now, this panel here doesn't actually move or go anywhere. It's more for ventilation of the unit. But you'll have your power button and your one-touch copy. Now, these new drive trays are a little bit different because they're completely toolless. There's no screws to mount to any part of this drive. Pretty much your SSD would just snap right in, and then you can put it right back into the unit. No screws, no screwdriver, less time, less hassle. Same way here with the HDD drives as well. Now these are a little different because no actual tools, but you have these little clips here on the side that actually pop off that lock into the retaining screw holes on the drive itself. And all you have to do is put the drive back in, put these lock tabs back in, then reinsert the drive tray with the drive, and you're done. Now on the back of the unit, there are some differences here as well. This being the Thunderbolt model, you'll notice that you have your Thunderbolt connections here toward the top, and then on the other side, you'll have 10 gig ports as well. You'll also have four USB 3 ports, then four uh, 1 gig Ethernet ports. Now you'll have three HDMI connections. The one here at the bottom, this is going to be an HDMI 2.0. These other two are going to be HDMI 1.4B. You'll also have an audio output, and you'll have two microphone inputs, along with the power switch and the power cord adapter plug for the power supply itself. Give us just a moment here, we'll spin this back around. We'll cover some of the features of the accessories pack. Alright, so now that we've covered the features of the pack, oh. <laughs> so now that we've covered the features of the unit itself uh, externally, let's go ahead and talk about the accessories pack. Now you'll notice when I first unboxed this unit, there were a few packages that I removed out before I showed the unit. Uh, the first one of those was actually the power cord. I'll actually plug into the power supply in the back. Uh, then you have the accessories pack. Now inside the accessories pack, you'll have screws to mount the SSDs into the HDD drive trays. Then you'll also have two heat sinks and the mounting screws for the M.2 memory cards that can actually be installed into this unit. Now you'll also have four Cat5e cords to put your unit into the network. And you'll also have two CAT6 cords or cables to actually be able to use with the 10 gig Ethernet ports on the back. Of course, you'll also have some information cards here in the, the package, which also have the remote. Your warranty cards. and your quick start guide for the unit itself. Alright, so now we've covered some of the features of the accessories pack. Now let's talk a little bit more about the features of the unit. Uh, now this particular model is expandable out to 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, it also uses the, uh, or has the capability for virtual JVOD. So if you have other NAS devices in your network that are functioning on a JVOD system, or JVOD option, uh, you can actually expand this one to work within that same virtual JVOD. Um, 
Unit is expandable to over 400 teras if you use the TX800 expansion units as well. If you have any other questions at all for this unit, so if you have any other questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to stay up to date with the latest new videos we have for new product releases, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or just want a little bit more information, uh, give us a call at 407-960-4690, or you can send us an email to sales at simplynast.com. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.